Baylor Pro Day today was at Midway High School in their indoor facility, which is spectacular. Baylor have all that construction going on at the Allison Indoor. They're extending that out more lo uh, longer. And then, of course, so much construction in that area near where they will have the football operations building. So they were at Midway. And a couple of friendly faces from a, a Baylor past. Charlie Brewer, R.J. Sneed were there, along with a lot of other players that were there at the Pro Day. And we have R.J. Sneed, who last year played at Colorado with us on 365 Sports. What was it like to kind of just get back to where you spent most of your college career? No, it was great, you know, especially to get back and run around with dudes that I grew up with pretty much in college. So it was a great feeling to be back. What was the process? Did you reach out to Baylor? How did that work? Yeah, so uh, my mom reached out to Coach Aranda, actually, so that's how that happened. And I was just glad that he was well, more than grateful that he allowed me to come back and do it. So, RJ, when you when you got to catch passes from Charlie again, like, do you get like feelings of nostalgia? And then you're you're essentially on a job interview. Uh, you got to have a lot of emotions going through your head to, in a day like today. Yeah, no, it was great. You know, uh, best catch passes from Charlie because that was my roommate all throughout college. So it was a good feeling to get back with him, and uh, it just seemed like old times. You know, especially I know it wasn't at the indoor, but it felt great to just be back in Waco. RJ, what did your year in uh, Boulder teach you? What was that experience like? I mean, obviously you played most of your career here, but uh, to go that transfer route, how that you know, how did that uh, I guess unfold, and, and how did you uh, you know feel like that all went for you? Uh, you know, it's never it's never a good idea when you go one to one and eleven, but it was a great just learning experience, and like I built relationships there that I think I'll last longer than football will, and like. Especially with the coaches, because, like, once I'm done playing, I want to be a coach. So I feel like I learned a lot, more of the ins and outs than anything. This segment, R.J. Sneed, former Baylor wide receiver, brought to you by Richard Carr Motors, Buick GMC Cadillac, people you can count on. R.J., have you or did you have any kind of uh, communication with Dion and the new staff, or is that just kind of like they're in and everyone else is out? Yeah, no, so, like, uh, once he got hired, I wasn't even in Colorado no more. So okay. It was kind of, like, more of, like, they're in and I'm out. But uh, from the guys I talked to, though, they're enjoying it, liking it, and uh, believe that it's going in the right direction. So, do you learn in a season like that you mentioned about Colorado, do you maybe learn more about life than you do about football? Yeah, more about life where, like, you can't control a lot of things. You know, you just got to take what it gives you and keep going. You know, you can't quit, you can't stop, but – I just learned that, like, you can't give up regardless of what's going on. So, when you were out there today, what was the focus for you? What were you working on or hoping to show most of your game? And just what's your thought process in terms of this whole, uh, you know, process of, of trying to go to the pros and, and make a name for yourself? Just everything you see on film that, like, I can test the ball. I can I got score quickness. I can just do whatever you're asking me to do. So that's all I was trying to show, you know, the film has already done the job for itself. So I was going out there to have fun, really. I didn't want to over, overthink it, put too much into it. I just wanted to have fun with it and not stress myself out. Do you – we have a, 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 a snapshot on screen of, of the one hand – one of the one-handed catches you made ridiculously. On your film, do you put those in the in the front? Oh, you have to. The people <laughs> enjoy to watch it. You know, it's a good starter. I'll put it out, out there in the front. So, of course, I do. RJ, how much, and I know what you did, you made a decision to go to Colorado, but once you're there, is there anything that you kind of feel like you wish you would have been a part of Baylor? Because they surely could have used you at wide receiver last year. Uh, I mean, you know, especially you make, you make, you make uh, decisions in life, and like you got to live with. Sometimes you might have breath, but I just, once I got there, I just decided to live my decision. But I was always keeping up with Baylor, and I thought that, uh, I think Gavin did a good job of stepping up this past year. And I felt like Monterey and all the young guys are going to come along. But, you know, I just learned to live my decision and just keep going, though. R.J. Sneed, former Colorado and Baylor wide receiver, a part of the Baylor Pro Day today uh, on uh, the campus of Midway High School. RJ, when you look back at your career at Baylor, I mean, obviously ended with a big exclamation point, a Big 12 championship, Sugar Bowl. Can you just take us, because I don't know that we really had an opportunity, and I know it's been a while now, but uh, can you just kind of take us back to, to that time period and also just reflecting, uh, now that you've had some, some time away, uh, what is it like to look back on your time in Waco and the career that you carved out? 
I think my time in Waco was great because, like, uh, especially the first two years, I didn't play at all. Uh, I got in here and there, and uh, I learned a, a, a very important thing that, like, takes is, is key because, you know, I had great receivers in front of me that got drafted, which was Denzel and Jalen Hurd. And then when I started playing in 2019, it still wasn't me fully playing, but I was just grateful for the opportunity. And especially after 2019, 2020, 2021, it was like me and Taekwon, so it was just grateful. And then, like you said, it was a great way to end it, winning the Big Bowl championship and the Super Bowl. Because we've been there in 2019, but we never won either or. So it was just a great way to cap off the career here. RJ, uh, what have they told you as far as anybody that's connected, scouts, uh, agent? What, ha- what, what are your expectations over the next month? Actually, I'm supposed to talk to my agent later on the day after she gets everything she needs to get. But pretty much do what you need to do, and we're just going to let the film speak for itself. And she told me all you need is one team. So that's all I'm just looking forward to, just finding one team I want to see and just go from there. RJ, are you somebody that if it's, you know, there's obviously a lot of leagues out there. NFL life is tough. It's not a guarantee for anybody. Are you somebody that wants to keep playing football no matter what? Like if you don't get that crack in the pros, is the XFL something you're interested in? The USFL? Where, where do you kind of view all that? No, I think once, whenever the door closes, whether it's tomorrow or 10 years from now, I want to be a coach. So okay. I don't want to put too much into wasting years and trying to go to the league. I'm a firm believer if it's supposed to happen, it will happen. If it doesn't, then I'll just be happy with how I ended my career. So your mom reached out to Coach Aranda. He said, sure, which says quite a bit. And, and I, I would think there have been other former players that have come back and done pro days as well. Uh, what is your uh, relationship with Dave Aranda? Your, your thoughts about when you told him you were leaving and yet he still says, hey, come on back, let's help you out. Uh, it's good, actually, because uh, even while I was gone, you know, uh, he texted me on Monday, uh, and he found out I had surgery. He texted me about that. So it was good, and actually, I saw him Friday night. I was going to eat a diamond back, and he came and sat next to me, and we spoke real quick. Our relationship is good. It's always going to be good, and uh, I thought I appreciate him regardless of everything that went on. You mentioned uh, Coach Aranda and, and Charlie as well. Was there anybody else that you ran into today or, or the last few days that uh, you maybe hadn't seen in a while or somebody to keep up with? Oh, yeah, I saw uh, Coach Bell. He's on the field today. We talked for a little bit. You know, I saw most of the coaches that I was there uh, – I met the new receiver coach, Coach Baker. I felt like he was a great guy and this dude for the room. So, yeah, I saw most of the coaches and everybody that came out to support. Uh, so, it was pretty good. RJ, what was, if you can, pinpoint your favorite moment when you were at Baylor? Uh, I mean, of course, I'd be, like, winning the Big Bowl championship and watching Gary McVay stop the guy on the, <laughs> I guess, the edge of the line. That was, yeah, that's an easy one to pick, yeah? Yeah, that was my favorite moment. Just because, you know, we've been there before, and I, we went, we lost. So I was just more glad that we won. So that was probably my favorite moment. Where were you when that unfolded? Can you kind of take us through your, because we've, we've had various guys, and it's always fun to get, like, you know, one guy's on the sideline, and he's got this angle. How did that unfold from your vantage point? So in my head, I was on the opposite side. And uh, I was actually, like, standing right next to, like, Coach Randall's family. And as soon as he got to stop, we all just ran on the field, forgetting that we still got to go get a few snaps in. So we all ran on the field. And uh, it was just crazy. It was chaos. I think that's the best way to describe it. It was just chaos. Once Sierra McVay got to stop, we didn't know how to act. Yeah, you had to take a snap, right? I mean, you uh, you had to take yeah, a snap and make sure snap. you didn't screw it up. RJ, no one – Yeah. Where you came from, Matt Rule, and uh, and all of that. And I, I do want to ask you about him now being in Nebraska, but I mean, knowing where you guys started in one and eleven, and then seven and six, and you know, not being able to to get that win over Oklahoma or Georgia. And, I mean, how much did that teach you in, about life? Just the the trials and tribulations, the ups and downs, experiencing a little bit of everything, good, bad, and otherwise uh, during your time. Changes on the staff. I mean, how much did that that whole sequence uh, helped mold you into the young man you are uh, nowadays. It told me a lot. You know, uh, I give Coach Rule a lot of credit because he changed my ways as soon as I got to college. And, like, he had, he made me grow up real fast. You know, uh, he's the same way everybody is. He's going to shoot you straight. He's going to let you know how he's feeling, what he's thinking. 
I think that's what I like the most about him, though. I never had to ask him what he was thinking because I already knew. And uh, it kind of helped me grow up, you know. He, I remember I first got there and, like, I was having problems, like, not, like, major problems, but, you know, like, young guy stuff, like, maybe being late here or there. And, like, he just told me one time, like, you need, you need to get your stuff together in a nice way I can say it. But, like, yeah, I think uh, I'm thankful for him, though, because he had to grow up. And, like, he gave me the what's next mentality that he's been preaching. Whether it's good or bad, you got to move on to the next thing in life. RJ, we appreciate your time. I know your mom and dad are proud, but your mom is obviously, and a lot of mothers are, most of them are, your biggest cheerleader, Dr. Sneed. When I mention her, what do you think? Well, my mom? Yes. That's my world. You know, she does everything for me. You know, I can't thank her enough. My dad, too. Uh, I can't thank him enough for what they've done for me throughout this process. He put me in football at the age of five till now. And uh, I just thank for them both. RJ, good luck moving forward over the next few weeks as the draft approaches, whatever that brings to the table, wherever you end up, mini camp, and eventually, hopefully, throughout the summer and into the league. Thanks for your time. It was great to see you today. Thank you so much. Good luck to you guys. Yes, sir. RJ Sneed, Colorado receiver last year, but was a part of those ups and downs in the roller coaster of 1 and 11 to what they did to play for a Big 12 title and then, of course, win the. Uh, the Big 12 as well, and the bowl game, the Sugar Bowl against Ole Miss his last year at Baylor. When we come back, Mike Martin joined us last